The reasons why you always feel tired in the afternoon. Let's say you're determined to succeed in life and you always plan ahead, but don't really understand why you always feel exhausted all the time. And you don't understand why after consuming a whole bunch of food at Chick-fil-A, why you feel so tired and wanna go back to work and take a nap. But the only reason why you don't is because your supervisor's there. Have you ever wondered why we all feel so tired, especially in the afternoon? This is what we call the afternoon slump and it probably happens somewhere between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. And I have on occasion taken a nap, especially if I've waken up early in the morning. So none of us are alone. We've all experienced this phenomenon, right? There's all kinds of different words for it. But in fact, it's much more of a common problem than you might think. And I'm here to discuss with you why it's happening to you. Because there are plenty of professions out there that it doesn't matter what time it is, they have to keep their energy level up. I mean, pilots and air traffic controllers and police officers and firefighters. So there are ways to keep more alert after the two to four o'clock slump. I'm Munif Ali, I'm a self-made multimillionaire with multiple brick and mortar businesses that have closed billions of dollars in sales. I'm here to empower you so that you can obtain your financial and your personal goal. My purpose is to teach you with my own real world practical advice. Do me a favor, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that subscribe button. Let the algorithm know that this content is worthy of your attention and the attention of other people as well. Well, let's talk about the circadian rhythm. Boy, that is pretty complex sounding. That might put me to sleep. What you need to know first about your circadian rhythm is basically your internal biological clock for the sake of keeping things simple. It's your body's internal system that makes you feel sleepy or awake. And our typical circadian cycle dictates the period of sleepiness or decrease alertness in the afternoon. And the study by Yale Biology and Medicine discuss how alertness tends to drop between one and three in the afternoon when our natural body temperatures start to dip because it's close to nighttime. And remember, we didn't have electrical lighting and all of these other things. So when it got dark, human beings got in a cave or a tent or whatever, and usually went to sleep when nightfall came. So you might think, great, it's not entirely my fault. It could be. But as there's a lot of other factors that affect your energy during the afternoon, as well as poor eating habits, insufficient sleep, stress. There's a lot of other things other than just the excuse of we're wired that way. Let's talk about poor sleep habits. Another factor you should consider is your sleep habits because of course, if you're not getting enough sleep, that's gonna definitely contribute to your afternoon slump and not getting enough rest will make your body feel weak and exhausted and compromise your immune system. According to a government website in Australia, Better Health Victoria tells us that a lack of sleep can cause you to have reduced hand and eye coordination. A lot of times, some of the studies came back with, not only are you sloppier at your job, no one likes a sloppy worker, but it also hinders you from your goals. So make sure you prioritize that sleep. Another study cited that drivers that are impaired by alcohol function nearly the same as sleep deprived people or people who text. Third factor would be the lack of just getting out there and just moving a lot of times, you know, it's kind of a counterintuitive thing to think about. Well, I'll have more energy if I move. And a lot of people think if I move more, then I'm gonna just get tired. But without exerting yourself a bit or the effort to maybe move and stretch, your body starts to feel sluggish because your body, if you're not moving, it kind of goes into sleep mode, no pun intended. But, you know, think about your computer, right? No activity, gets sluggish, goes to sleep. Same thing, your body is like, okay, this guy's not moving. She's not moving. You know what, I think I'm sensing the fact that they wanna shut down. And your body just starts to release chemicals to make that happen. Conversely, if you're exercising, your body is releasing hormones and chemicals so you can continue to move. That's why I'm a big proponent of the midday activity. Not exercise alone, but just getting out there and moving. Make sure that you incorporate movement and exercise together as part of your day. One research from the National Library of Public Medicine has recorded that those who are more active report better sleep. If you've ever gone out and had a workout routine for a while, you'll notice that you sleep so good. And so make sure that that happens. And before I tell you the last one, if you like this content, go ahead and put a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button and let the algorithm know that this 
video is worthy. And now let's talk about stress and overexertion. But like in most cases of our lives, moderation is really the key. Have one cup of coffee, no big deal. Have 10 cups of coffee, now you're overdoing it. Don't exert yourself too much or you'll end up getting even more tired in the afternoon and become more unproductive. Also, think about stress. Stress affects your mind, it makes you restless and worsens your sleep conditions. And then when you wake up, you already feel exhausted from that burden of being in a stressful situation all day long. So try to manage your stress by meditating, by journaling, by having conversations other than whatever you're stressed about, by watching a little bit of TV. Do the kind of things that kind of will relax you during the end of your stress session so that you can get back into it. So beating your afternoons in slump is a very winnable war. So to summarize, you may feel the afternoon slump because some of us, our bodies are just engineered to react that way. But our energy also is heavily influenced by our choices in life. AKA, if you wanna improve your sleep habits and get 10 to 20 minutes of exercise in and around your day when you do feel sluggish, and remember to manage your mind and decrease stress as well. And if you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you need more guidance and improving your well-being and always want to be a millionaire or have more money at your disposal. In this video, I discuss three strategies that you can utilize to become a millionaire in your 20s.